Since 1890, Oliver has built a reputation for high quality products and personable customer service. In 1932, we introduced the first Oliver retail bread slicer, and today we continue to produce innovative bakery equipment. At Oliver, we're committed to quality, environmental sustainability, exceptional customer service, and you. Prior to this machine, in every bakery, you'd have four bakers at a table. They would cut these pieces and throw them on pans or in the, on the bench. And the pieces would be about, they'd be a little bit larger than this. They're three ounce pieces. We made the three ounce bolillo. Some people, some shops make a, a four, four ounce or a five ounce bolillo, which is quite a bit bigger. But these guys would be in here this way, making bolillos by hand. And you'd have four or five bakers around the table. I mean, if you're gonna make uh, 20,000 of these a day, you need a lot of help to do them. Now, this, this machine, we can make 3,500 an hour with two guys. One guy throwing, one guy picking. There's a plate that runs along the top and a belt that form the bolillo. There's adjustments here. They're, they're guardrails that keep the, the, uh, the bolillo from going off the edge of the plate. Now, in, I have never had to use them that much in this, uh, this size, the six inch with the three ounce. I've never used them that much. I didn't have to use them, but you set them, you can, you can put the, it, with a seven inch plate, I understand that it's almost mandatory. You have to use the, the uh, guardrails uh, to keep, the, keep it within the, the right pro, uh, size and keep it within that plate. But you set these, here is your drop channel. You, uh, you open this to the proper uh, opening. You can look down in here and see what, uh, what size you need for your piece of dough. So you open this up and you try to keep it, there's a, there's a, uh, a plate on each side and you try to keep that so your drop zone is right in the center of that so it drops right down to the center of the, of the, uh, the belt which uh, is a pretty much optimal that way if you hit the center of the belt. Also on top here there is a, uh, a screw knob that adjusts the, uh, the rollers. The plate on the inside, we've got adjustments here on the front part and here on the back part. Uh, the back part is actually the final stage of the roll coming through. You put the roll in, it comes down the chain, pulls up on the chain, drops down on the plate and starts here. The plate starts the, the, the action of molding it right here and it molds all the way through the plate until it pops out the other end. So this end we're gonna have open just a little bit further. We've got this set at two and a half and we'll leave it right there. And this, this setting is just under two, so that will drop it in here where the opening is a little bit wider, and then it will gradually mold it down a little tighter to this end and then drop out this end onto the catching plate, uh, the finished product. Okay? And we'll run a few. tend to squeeze a little air out. You can't see it from the camera, but on the, on the pan, I, I'll mash them down so they're flat. And they go, th they tend to go through easier without hanging up. Finished product. Perfect. Visit Oliver on the web at oliverquality.com or call 800-253-3893 for more information.